So when a woman comes in for treatment of her breast cancer and opts to have what we call breast conserving therapy, taking out the lump, usually they'll come in either for removal of what you can feel as a breast lump or uh, often it's something that's found on a mammogram and so it's quite tiny and can't even be felt or found on examination. If it's the latter, then they need to have uh, a radiology study before the surgery and they put in a marker so that I can find it at surgery. Then they come to surgery, have the lumpectomy and have the lymph node removed. It's actually not quite that painful an operation. The lumpectomy is not bad. Operating under the arm is a little bit more uncomfortable. It's generally done as an outpatient. So patients go home the same day. Uh, they get pretty swollen and pretty black and blue and are pretty uncomfortable for a couple of days. Most people feel back to normal and able to go back to work within two, three, four days. Generally speaking, a woman who opts to have a lumpectomy will need radiation therapy. There are a few exceptions, but for the most part, lumpectomy and radiation therapy go together. And if you skip the radiation, it's usually not a good idea. So we'll talk about the advisability of radiation and the patient will meet with the radiation oncologist.